about um, the printer setup. You probably print in a different method. Um, and I'm, I'm printing through keeping the artwork in spot colors in its actual color where I think maybe you change the colors to black and break things out in a different way. Um, but in this manner, when, when you open up your file and you go to print, um, I have the uh, accurate Epson 1430 chosen and I have a default which is like the default is uh, 11 by 17 and then under media size you want to make sure that you change it to um, if it's like you know a, a, actually a 13 by 19 change it to the 13 by 19 and then over here on the left you'll see under general that's all this basic setup here do not scale um, Marks and bleeds, I don't add any of that on here, but that is where you can add illustrators registration marks and trim marks and center marks and the grayscale gray color bar and all that stuff. I never use any of that. I just use the registration marks. But under output is what you want to change because right now you see it's set to composite and that's by default. So anytime you go into the print window, it's going to be set to def uh, default composite. And in order to print out these spot colors down here that are in the file, the file and the print color separation window recognizes these colors, but right now you haven't told it that you want to print separations. So when you click on that, it's normally under composite, and you click on it, and then you have these in-rip separations or separation host-based. And so I'm printing through Illustrator through separation host based. So when you change that, that activates these colors down here as spot colors. And you see the in my file I do not have anything that is process color. So that's why none of these are available. And the only things that are available are what you see here to print. Um, so you can turn off the little printer icon right next to the color and then I can print one color at a time. But the way that I set that file up is so that I don't have to do this part. I can print all three of them at the same time and, uh, and just load my film individually one after another in the printer. This is the line screen. Now you can change that here only, uh, let's say if I wanted that to print out at 55 line screen for whatever reason and I wanted a 22.5 angle. Um, you would never normally do this in one job. You would always keep all the same angles, but I'm just telling you that you can change the angles here. Uh, but it has no effect in here because of how I have AccuRip already pre-set up and I'll show you what that means. So right now all you all you would do is hit print and that would print out each separation individually. Um, so let's go to AccuRip and I'll show you how I have this set up in here. Edit configuration in AccuRip and these two windows at the top here um, this first one is all about your ink setup and your uh, resolution output and a lot of people don't recognize that they can make these changes but there's a test up under here um, somewhere in here I forget just in case you're not familiar with it um, there's a test print and then there's a droplet weight density test print test print is just about um, are your uh, jets all printing out clearly? The droplet test, and you would print this on like an 8.5 by 11 white sheet of paper. 
uh, the droplet test you print out on film and that tells you, it gives you all these different uh, variations here of ink densities and at all these different weights, one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. And my test came out that with my film and uh, the coating that's on it, this resolution works best. And I set it to lower because it actually prints faster and I don't need that tight of a quality. If you want better quality of your dots, uh, edge definition and whatnot, it'll print a lot slower, but you can up it to this. But then this uh, droplet weight would be much lower, like might be at six or seven. Um, because that's, you know, you can print out film and it'll be dripping wet, running and smearing all over everything. Uh, if you have it set too high to put out too much too quickly. Now, under the configuration window, this is where you have 22.5, that's my screen angle. My frequency right now is at 47 line screen. And then I have lock screen checked. You see how that gets grayed out? Um, if I lock this, it overrides what I tell Illustrator to uh, print out in halftones. So my halftones are, no matter what is set, Illustrator is set at, it's always going to print out at 47 line screen at 22.5 angle because I have the lock screen on. Um, and then these are all my uh, um, custom curves that I have set in here based on a densitometer reading that I have gotten from Pierre at Blue Moon. And he printed out and used his densitometer on a 1430 uh, for Accurip. And these are the results he got. So these are very close. It might be a slight variation, very small uh, difference with my film and what film he was using. So maybe this might be 99. <coughs> This might be 97, uh, and then, then this one might be 92 at 80%. Things like that. Very small percentages, but in a nutshell, this is a very uh, far better setup numbers to start with that you can actually punch in and, uh, and then click on Save and then give that a name. So if I did that, click Save, I would have to give it a name here like... Uh, Dan's custom curves and then it automatically uh, saves that in its destination uh, where I had set it to save and uh, that's where it goes and then I click OK um, so that's about setting up Accurip but back into Illustrator in the print dialog window just remember uh, this first general page here is where you set up your page document and make sure you go on to from the AccuRip and not to not just to the Epson printer uh, and then you jump down to output and that's the other important area as you change it to separation host based and then again th these all depend on you know you might do one job. The reason why you don't need to, uh, why you have the option to have everything output in AccuRip with the same line screen is if you never change any line screens. But there might be some jobs where you do, you know, if a, a shop's doing 30 or 50 jobs a day, they might change line screens based on the job much more frequently so they don't want they might do this manually every time and uh, here you can change the dot shape also ellipse or line or dot um, so that's that Now I don't know how to quit out of the...